in any kind of art, you never really know exactly how the person's going to react, what really they're going to take away from the work. You know, I kind of got here and I started thinking like, well, why am I buying all this nice metal? And for who? And for what? You know? You know, so I, that's kind of where the idea of working with like found objects kind of came into play a lot of just thinking about there's all these resources around me, you know, why am I spending all this money? Like a lot of this body of work emerged from reacting to kind of situations. So this is actually a self-portrait. For me, I wanted to make Something that expressed that, that expressed that idea of feeling heavy. It can't be perfect because I'm not perfect. <laughs> you know? This flag and the pillar, the self-portrait pillar, emerge at the same time. Pillars are monumental, you know, in that kind of ways, and they function very similar to flags historically. Like flags have been about claiming a space that it kind of just felt like I needed to also make a stand, you know, too. So this flag, you know, became that for me. You know, it became like something that I could like put up and like feel like, hey, no one can govern me. No one can tell me how to feel, what to do with my body, like how to act. You know, I think for me it's, it feels really vulnerable, you know, to put my show, to put my work up in some kind of way. It's what I needed. You know, and if people can come in here and experience, you know, these small elements of the work and spend time with it and kind of just maybe even see just like, even if they can get like one portion of like what it is that, that the show could even mean, you know, um, then I think that's maybe the most important. And <laughs>